Oh my god. We can actually play Kitty Powers Matchmaker Welcome, now. Kitty. My name's Kitty Powers, and I'm your new boss. Yes, yes, ma'am. Your what can mission I do? is to expand this sad little branch of my dating agency to its full potential. And we're both kitties, we, we get each other. Do this by finding love for as many clients as possible. We have to be like Cupid. Also, how's the volume? I can fiddle with it a little bit. But before you get started, we need to take down your particulars. Is she related to Austin Powers? I can see the resemblance. Now, Bro, this tell is me about so yourself. Cool. Okay, I tested it. You can't put any bad words in first name or last name. That's why my character was literally named like... Because I couldn't think of anything that didn't have a bad word in it. What about... Uh... Slap my... Slap my... Slap my balls. Goon... Goon boy. Oh, smashing indeed. You get to do like a whole personality test for your matchmaker identity. I am... A Gemini. Also known as... The Twins. Dr. Gooner. <laughs> My first name is just Doctor. <laughs> Dr. <Doctor> Balls. <laughs> what about Dr. Rubbin... Rubbin Tug? <laughs> they're, uh, they're from Scandinavia. Dr. Rubbin Tug. Give me all the gossip. Wait, what do you find most attractive? <laughs> Men who experience fear. What do you guys find the most attractive? Are there really like people who have preferences for like eye color? I've never really like sat down and like thought about what eyes that I think I like the most. Anime girls. Blue eyes and blue hair. <laughs> oh, dusty pink hair. Red hair. Why don't they have golden eyes? They have all these bizarre hair colors, but not golden eyes. Old f***ing man. Well, they have every color under the sun for hair, but for the eyes, it's all these like standard issue bullshit. What about what about VTubers? Blue eyes, white hair, <laughs> dragon. <laughs> no piss eyes. Ah, uh, behind these hazel eyes. Yeah, I got it working finally. We're making our matchmaker uh, persona. Uh, what type do you feel you relate to most? Edgy, vintage, hippie, chic, arty, practical, sporty, glam, geeky, and hipster. What is the difference between, like, glam and chic? And like vintage and hipster. What what do all these personality types entail? Edgy? Is edgy like a like a rock star? Party like a rock star. Isn't glam more gaudy, like a disco kind of vibe? Like someone who's got like their nails, their hair really big. And chic is like uh like a New Yorker? Geeky is uh, someone who's really into cartoons. Vintage is someone who likes old stuff. Hipsters are pretentious little fecks. Practical. How do 
how can you like condense uh, the spirit of a human being into like practical or sporty or glam or geeky or hipster? Arty? Farty? Hippie? Vintage? Do arty? Okay. Let's do arty. Arty types. Ah, uh, love all forms of deep and meaningful avant-garde creative expression. Chic types are high achievers that love elegance, business, and class, darling. Hippie types love alternative therapies. <laughs> like coffee enemas and communing with nature. Spread the love. Vintage types love books, domesticity, and the old school approach. Oh, like a 90s, 50s kind of racist person. Uh -huh. Edgy loves dark and alternative culture. They mostly come out at night, mostly. Uh -huh. Practical types love functionality and are good with their hands. Matron. Uh -huh. Sporty types are all about fitness, competition, and getting sweaty. Ooh, er. <laughs> ooh, ooh, er. ooh, ooh, er. ooh. Glam types love bling, excess, and celebrity related stuff. OMG! Ooh. Geeky types love science fiction, fantasy, movies, and video games. Nerd alert! Ooh. Hipsters love postmodern art. <laughs> Boutique business startups, artisan coffee, and facial hair. That sounds awful. Well, out of all of these, what what is your guys' type? Do you, is it like... I feel like it's not even like a real thing to have a type. Because like, people aren't anime characters. People aren't like cartoons. They... They don't like wear the same clothes every day and just like... I mean, I guess like some people are kind of like that. Some, some people really are just like a hipster. No, my entire personality is comic books. But that's not everything. That's not everything about you. You can't just sum the essence of a person into like one descriptor word. That's not. That's not fair. I'm like a water type Pokemon, I guess. I kind of go with the flow. Cause water can just kind of. Water seems weak, but it can flow anywhere and it can kind of carve out. It's also... It's actually like one of the most po uh, powerful elements if you think about it. It can destroy and create. Unlike fire, which can only destroy. And it's part of nature. Uh. This is like a DIY. Uh. Let's go with edgy. What do you like to look like? Wait, I don't want to be a girl. Fuck this. All the gossip. Now, How do I become a tell guy? Me about yourself. Nice. Doctor. Rub and tug. Give me all the gossip. What type do you feel? <laughs> what do you like to look like? Okay. How are you guys feeling about these avatars? I like how they all have the tumbler noses where it looks like they really need a Kleenex. Their allergies are flaring up. And they all have mullets. Whoa, look at this guy. He looks like a rant sona for a YouTube channel. So is this guy. Ooh. I'm not really seeing any that click with me. Like, could I see myself inhabiting one of these forms? I don't know. This guy has negative cantle tilt. I do not want that to be my persona. It would be over for me. Look at this guy, he looks like a dwarf. Like a, like a World of Warcraft dwarf. Whoa! He's got like the, the ramen noodles hair. And the, what is this type of piercing called? Like a cone? Hmm. Oh, you can personalize it. Let's personalize him. Ooh! We can do anything we want! I want like a, I want him to have a cute button nose. Look kind of like sickly pale like that, yeah. I was a guy. I want to have like really big cheekbones and kind of look like Nosferatu. Long hair, ooh. Short hair, little rat tail. Ooh, I like. Wait, 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 wait. 
Wait, 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 go back. Why can't I go back? How do I go back to that spiky hair? What? Ah! That's kind of cool. I want the spiky hair. Where is it? Where is it? What the fuck? Yes! Hairstyle? Wait, what the? Huh? Wait, what is the difference between... Whoa, it's like the... What is this hairstyle called? A uh... Toothbrush? These look like all the same hairstyles almost. Whoa! Whoa! It's Bob Ross! Ooh. That's an interesting cut. I like how it kind of looks like devil horns. Man bun? Classic? Ooh, this is like a... Uh... Do, 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 four score and seven years ago. Ooh, now, now we're talking. Ooh! Founding father type of stuff. I'm actually stupid. I didn't realize this is just uh, cycling between long hair and short hair. That's a very interesting choice for uh. Whoa. It's like a little a little roll, a little breakfast roll. Wait, go back, go back. Yes. I'm Jack Frost. And then eyebrows. I like those because he looks kind of skeptical. Eye type. Ooh. 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 <laughs> he looks very sarcastic. I like these eyes because he looks kind of worried and alert. Eye color. A nice little tint of red on the nose tip and the ears. Ooh, I like the earring. The skeptical reviewer. <laughs> I'm gonna quit my job as a matchmaker and just go into yelling about stuff on uh, YouTube. Oh, now he really is a, the skeptical reviewer. He just needed the glasses, but I don't, I don't want him to have anything covering the eyes. Gold earrings, please. Where are they? Where's the gold? Where's the gold? Oh, there we go. I'm stupid. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what kind of facial hair should we rock? Oh, the handlebar mustache? Soul pets? Tiny soul pets? Ooh, the Amish look? Very big, fluffy soul pets? Goatee? Chin strap? Father Christmas. I kind of like this one. Not gonna lie. Inner clothes. Whoa. The turtleneck is cool. I won't front. I think it does make me look kind of badass. Green is a good color. And then, uh... Ooh, what if we put on like a... Oh, cowboy shirt or like a leather jacket. I think the leather jacket is pretty cool looking. Yeah, yeah, he's like a NFT guy. He's really, really into crypto. Or maybe he's like uh, in the military. I don't know. I, I like the leather jacket. Now it's time to probe the innermost depths of your personality. Okay, okay, okay. When it comes to housework, do you get stuck in or only clean for guests? What does it mean? Get stuck in? Or what does this mean? Get stuck in? Only clean for guests. Get stuck in? Loads? Really? What? What does it mean get stuck in? Get stuck in? Like in quicksand? I get stuck in quicksand and I can't do my homework? Like, you only clean when guests come over. 
I clean like every day. Because I get like really depressed if my house gets messy. It like bothers me on a deep level. Loads are rarely. What is it? What does loads and rarely mean in this context? Does it loads mean I only clean for guests? Loads of cleaning. Hmm. You have to dig a big hole. Would you rather get a spade and start digging or pay someone else to do it? You pay someone else to do it. Uh. You have to get to the shops in a hurry. Well, this game is so British. Would you rather take a brisk walk or get a bus? Fuck the bus. I have too much social anxiety to ride a bus. I don't even know, like, the mechanism behind it. The last time I rode a bus, it was like a greyhound, and the bus driver was really mean, and it made me cry. I'd rather just walk. <sighs> when you're on holiday, would you rather have an itinerary or take each day as it comes? This is too, like, black and white. Where's the middle option where it's like, oh, I can just chill, but have, like, a general plan? Because, like, having an itinerary just sounds so nerdy. It sounds like, all right, okay, at 1 p.m. we're going to go get croissants at the breakfast place, and then we're going to leave 20 minutes on the dot and go see the art museum. And then after, we're only going to spend one hour there to maximize our time and engagement in the art museum, and then we're going to go get lunch or brunch breakfast at 1 p.m breakfast is when the first time you eat after you wake up change my mind because you're breaking your fast it doesn't matter what time it is what matters is when you eat after you sleep uh, i'll take it seriously it comes. when it comes to work do you never take days off or pull a sickie now and then yeah i pull a sickie <laughs> Yeah, I pulled a few stickies. I'm I'm a pretty hard worker, but you know, I'm known to take a few days off and just um, here and there. You guys know me. I've been streaming a, a week a week uh week back to back. Week after week after week. And in relationship, do you like to know where they are? Or let them roam as they what does this mean? <laughs> This sounds like it's asking about, like, a fucking dog. Like, oh, do you like to know where your significant other is? Or do you hear them chewing on plastic in another room and get nervous and have to know what they have? Do you hear your strange plastic noises in the distance and go, Oh my god, what do you have now? Do you sniff your significant other's butt to get to know them? What, the, what does this mean? I mean, I like generally to know where my significant other is. It would suck if they got lost. I mean, I wouldn't want to have to like, if I go to the Target or whatever with April, just have to like call the the call box thing and have them announce over the intercom that I'm looking for him because I got lost and I'm face blind, so I don't know where anyone is. I don't know where they are. Yeah, he's microchipped, don't worry. When you have to decorate a room, do you do it yourself the way you like it or organize a painting party? I feel like uh, decorating... I kind of like to do things my own way, but I don't mind doing a collaborative effort. Yeah, let's do a party. When out with a partner, would you keep hands off in public or make public displays of affection? I don't get people that are like, Oh god, I don't want to like hold hands or like hug or anything in public. Mm -mm. Hmm. No offense, but... It's just, uh... Are you a robot? Would you go on holiday? Would you... When you go on holiday, would you prefer a secluded hideaway or a busy city with friends? Hmm... It depends on why I'm going on holiday. If I need to, like, get away from it all, I'd go to a hideaway, but usually I'd want to hang out with friends. And do fun IRL streams and shit. Like Las Vegas. Yeah, I'll go sing. Hmm. When listening to music, do you prefer a band with real instruments or futuristic synthesizer music? Synthetic. But I mean, a band with real instruments is good too. I guess I mostly listen to synthetic music. Artificial music. Artificial fucking computer music that has no soul. If you had a journal, would it be in a nice 
leather-bound book or an online blog. I'm a streamer, so... Every stream is basically my diary. <laughs> Which gadget would you rather have? A new potato peeler or the latest smartphone? I was just talking about how annoying it is to peel potatoes early in the stream. And you always get like down to the last few patches and it's like, Fuck, I don't want to cut my finger, but I need to get the rest of this fucking skin off. I'll go with potato peeler. <laughs> When shopping in department stores, do you head for the home furnishings department or the underwear department? Who the fuck would go shopping just to head for the underwear department? A pervert? A doy? I don't want to get arrested. Would you rather go on a date to an afternoon tea room or a drag cabaret show? <laughs> Why is this under the, the spiciness section? A, a drag cabaret? I mean, they both sound fun. I'm not gonna lie, the afternoon tea room sounds kind of boring. But also, a drag cabaret show seems like a little too overstimulating for me, mentally. What is a tea room? It's some kind of British thing. On Valentine's Day, do you buy your loved one a bunch of roses or some massage oil? <laughs> what? I mean, uh, I guess roses. I I made brownies for April this year, and they were pretty good. It was a nice chewy brownie recipe. After all that, this is better be correct. I Are buy you motor sure? oil. Buying motor oil for my car, girlfriend. Yeah, I did not technically put vegetable oil in the brownies, so... Fuck, oh, God, I answered wrong. God damn it. Could you use vegetable oil for, like, a massage? Could you, like, fry someone? Could you fry a human being? While they're still alive. If you just put them in, like, a deep fryer. No, it's a waste of oil. So you could like roll someone up in oil and breadcrumbs and fry them? Okay, I'm active, carefree, and extrovert, experimental, and romantic. Damn. I'll stick all your details onto your Damn. ID card. So I remember your name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Webbentug. I'm nobody. If you need me, I'm just at the other end of the kitty phone. I'll even give you some coins to get you started. Because Thank I'm you, Miss generous Kitty Powers. like that. Your avatar will be sent anonymously to other players' games as a secret shopper. What does that mean? Don't worry. Nobody will see the name you enter here. We'll give you a fake oh, one. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, nobody knows my character's name. That's when one good. of your friends sends your avatar on a date, you'll get a letter telling you how it went. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, okay. Check your letterbox for feedback Dr. Rubin's on how your virtual back in love life is going. We need to find you some customers. Where should we advertise first? Wait, so I'm confused. I thought this game was about being a matchmaker, working for like a matchmaking agency where you match other people together. Why is there like a element where you're being matched? Oh, let's go to the comics. Comic store. I'll start hanging around the comic shop. Those geeky types look pretty lonely to me. Yeah, they look like they could use some company. Okay, let's get you started with your first client. Press the <gasps> play button. Oh, I'm nervous. We're about to set someone up with the love of their life. I'm so fucking excited. Your move. Try and find a couple with as much in common as possible. This is your lobby. New clients Wait, will arrive here client? looking for love. Click oh. your selected client, and then take them to the hot seat. Hot seat. Yeah. Okay, I, I choose this guy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ferris. I'm an aircon technician, and I'm looking for a woman. Alright, uh, Ferris. So, let's see what we're working with here. <laughs> Ferris Gaywell, an aircon technician. A uh, Virgo. That explains a lot. Ferris Gaywell enjoys magic wands, Halloween, and FPS games. Pretty good selection of uh, hobbies. Oh. <laughs> Shit. 
So how do I set them up? I'm entered in Magic Mars Halloween and FPS games, and I have a preference for hazel eyes and light brown hair. Can you locate a super love match? I'm sure they're a geeky type. Bless. Bless up. Don't worry, Ferris Gaywell. Suitable we'll candidates for your client are marked in pink oh. in my little black book. Oh, these are all the eligible this is bachelorettes. Such a bullshit game. Where Just is the this dark one, souls I'll show you the best one. The Click dark on them souls to scrutinize their intimate particulars. Jemima Dingleface, Ethel Nutright, and Miriam Redthorpe. All right, let's take a look at all these profiles. This is the hot seat. Where you compare your client's uh, profile with the potential candidates. Is Taurus compatible with Virgo? I don't know astronomy. I don't really understand any of it. The one I've pointed out is clearly the best match. Choose them by pressing the date button. Well, you don't know that. Well, let me do my job. Okay, Ethel Notright likes watching fail videos, post apocalypse movies, and urban exploration. I mean. They don't have the same interests, but they could still be compatible. They could uh, bond over like sharing their, their different hobbies with one another. Okay, let's go back. Jemima Dingleface. A comic store clerk. She likes playing chess, space travel, and UFOs. She's also a Virgo. Okay. Miriam Redthorpe, a chip shop worker. I have no idea what that is. Paintings of Black Panthers, vampire romance movies, and postmodern humor. Ugh. Constantine Highholm. Unsuitable? Oh, is it because they're a guy? Eloise Doglong. Oh, these are all unsuitable. Fuck. Damn, I guess Jemima Dingleface is who we're gonna have to send them into the hot seat with. I don't know, is this a good match for him? She seems kind of judgmental. Keep an eye on the restaurant you want to send them to to impress their date. Ooh. Some restaurants are more difficult, but will earn you more. Uh oh. And don't take someone Can to I the same a place Chinese twice. Restaurant? Because that's a dating faux pas. What? Is that really? Like if you go on a date to the same place, what if you both like the place a lot? What if you're the type of people that eat the same food every day? Watch the envelopes. What? Oh fuck! Uh, America is right here. America. I lost it. Ah, uh, this one. <gasps> the, the king's, king's helmet. helmet. How exotic! That sounds like a a euphemism. You're making me crazy. I mean. They've arrived at the restaurant. We can watch them through the secret cameras I've had installed. Oh yeah, like the, the cameras that were in that one guy's room. The indigo child. We thought the government was watching him. Maybe British food is like an aphrodisiac for these people. You need to guide them through their dates by making decisions for them via their earpiece. Choose wisely. Oh my god, it's like that one episode of Black Mirror. Ah, ah, ah. I anticipate a pleasant evening. Oh, oh they, they're getting acquainted. Hello, fellow human. I would surmise you are to mama. <laughs> Correct. I would therefore suggest you must be Ferris. <laughs> Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. Oh, what a lovely pair. Damn, it's steaming up in here. Get a room, you two. <laughs> this eating establishment is more than satisfactory. <laughs> Affirmative. I would tend to agree with that conclusion. Yeah. Your ocular organs are pleasing to <laughs> Affirmative. I've had them since birth. Look into my eyes. Whoa, the chemistry here is crazy. You could cut it with a knife. <laughs> From the color of your eyeballs, quite appealing. <laughs> Gratitude. They're both genuine as well. <clears throat> oh, good evening. May I take your order? <laughs> Affirmative. <laughs> what is your preferred sustenance? I saw this video on Twitter of Lil Yachty, but like. They used it was from the like one of those rap cipher videos from like the 2016 era, but someone took it and used an AI tool to translate it all in real time into Chinese. <sighs> Fuck, where do I find it? Is this how your first date with Ethel went? <laughs> Pretty much. Fuck, I... I thought I saved the video, I can't find it. 
<laughs> I did find it. I did find it. I lied. It. I lied it about everything. And now I'm laughing evilly to myself. <laughs> I fooled them again with a little bit of my trickery. Ooh. This video. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up on the screen. Real quick. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> <laughs> the best part is I was like tired as fuck watching this on my phone on the couch just like laughing to myself and April came in and was like is that Lil Yachty? <laughs> he recognized it instantly it's just even though it was all in Chinese <laughs> He does have that voice. It's a very interesting voice, very unique. <laughs> Why can't I perform supplements? Mm. I would like to ingest a hot fish dish. <laughs> and anything wheat based is right out. Or oh, it, does it not agree with your tummy? I'll eat it if they won't. Oh, yeah, are you gonna eat that? I are you gonna eat what that? They said. Because now you have to pick something they like. Oh, fuck. Okay, nothing with wheat. If you're not sure what the dish is, Hot you fish. can tip fish the and waiter chips? and ask them by pressing the what question button. What is place and chips? Okay, shut up, kitty Just powers. this once. I'll show you the correct option. Okay, it's cotton Don't mushroom sauce. Okay, 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 okay. You. I will call two glasses of cotton mushroom sauce, please. Mm -hmm. A wonderful choice. Mm -hmm. Excellent. It sounds deliciously edible. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it does. I'm on full agreement. <laughs> <gasps> it's time to pull the love handle. There's gambling in this game. Wait, if they if all the symbols match up, does it mean I get like bonus points? Okay, we got dress. <gasps> Pick a conversation oh, topic you think they'll agree on. A conversation topic. If you don't see one you like, you can spend coins to use the nudge button. Ooh, nudge your little button. Oh, Poppet, hello there, Poppet. Have you nudged your button today? But be careful not to Have you nudged your little love button? Uh, clothing or hairs... Uh, would they want to talk about clothing or hairstyles? Uh, we can re-roll, right? Let's re-roll. Oh, oh, they're not going to want to talk about that. Uh, hairstyle? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go pulling. What is your analysis of my outfit? Mm, it is extremely fitting for this occasion. <laughs> my self-esteem levels are increasing. Mm, so, do you like my outfit? <laughs> your fashion sense is off the pie chart. <laughs> it is out of this world. I am extremely pleased by your kind words. <coughs> Dinner is served. Uh, check, please. What if it cut to them having, like, graphic, like, balls-to-the-wall, brutal sex? Just in like every imaginable position, like pissing on each other, gaping. Full of handle again. Later that night. 
Mm. Oh, indubitably. Oh, my asshole is touching your asshole. Uh, I guess let's talk about horoscope. Uh. What is your opinion of horoscopes? <laughs> they are not completely without merit. Uh -huh. Also, they are transiently in the tunnel. Uh -huh. I am pleased with a rule. My zodiacal sign is Virgo. What is yours? Uh. My birth sign is Virgo. Is this good? <laughs> Our star signs are completely in tune. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. our filters are well placed for success. It's a match made in heaven. Are they gonna get married now? <coughs> They're British, they don't have sex? Oh yeah, right, they just lay on the bed and look up at the ceiling and thinking about uh, the queen. Can I interest you in something from the desert trolley? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm willing to risk the sugary impact on my BMI. Oh no, she has an eating disorder. <laughs> Very good. I shall fetch the trolley immediately. Uh. I do not factor in the appearance of a dessert trolley. <laughs> oh no, is he a broke boy? Oh fuck. Ah, oh, they can just split the bill. The desserts have arrived, and they look so edible. The wait is about to bring out a load of tasty desserts. Oh. Pay close attention to the order they're in. Okay, okay. You'll have to remember them as I'm their date will be too stuff. busy salivating to remember Why their names. Why are you names. doing 07 at me? Ooh. Okay, we got cup of tea, cappuccino, vanilla ice cream, banana split. I forgot already. <coughs> tea, cappuccino, <coughs> vanilla ice cream, banana split. <laughs> The third dessert looks most digestible. Mm, uh, yeah. Wait, what was the third one? Okay, tea, cappuccino. Was it the vanilla uh, ice cream? It was vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Mm, Holy mm. fuck, Adderall does work. <laughs> I've not experienced anticipation and salvation like this before. <laughs> the dessert choice was completely predictable. Even later that evening? Ah. Okay, let's see what the next conversation topic is gonna be. What? what? What is this? Mm. Facial decor? <laughs> what is open about my small mustache? I hate it. <laughs> In my opinion, it is incredible. I can't look away. I can't stop staring at it. And seeing all the little food particles embedded in it, I want to pick them out and eat them like a monkey. <laughs> Thank you. You are very kind and rude. Mm -hmm. What do you say about my clear complexion? I'd like to mess it up a little bit. Is she on a date with Weed Hitler? <laughs> weed Hitler? <laughs> yeah. It is by far the best I've ever seen. Ever. Mm. I feel considerably better now than I did a moment ago. <laughs> Imagine the smell in this room. Yeah, this is what would happen in alternate history if Hitler did pursue uh, art and painting. If his paintings were accepted would be expedient to reimburse the establishment. These people are insufferable. Uh, mm -hmm. I protect the weather will be located in the immediate vicinity. Uh, I have only a bad memory of the weather's features. Hmm. Uh, it's this girl. Yeah, we're still in the tutorial. We're, we're, we're good, we're good. <laughs> hey, do you apologize? Here's your bill. Uh, mm -hmm. Wait, what are they gonna do about the bill? Are they gonna split it or is he gonna cover it? <laughs> It is fortunate that you correctly identified the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Bro, I bet her pushy's like a fucking waterfall right now after he correctly identified the waiter out of a line of three of them. Wish Hitler would have just smoked weed instead of all that other shit. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Like, you could... I bet if we went back in time and just talked it out with him and, like, Osama bin Laden, maybe in another timeline, it could have just been chill. They could have just like been okay with just hanging out and being chill and stuff like that. Hmm. The staff are urging us to leave. <laughs> Fuck, I'm messing up their voices. Ooh, this is rather crooked news. <laughs> Bro, they're gonna go bang it out. <laughs> this fulfilled the cartoon. Wait, wait, it has to be. This fulfilled the cartoon about my imagine. Depending on how much your client likes their date. Oh. You now have up to three options. Wait, I have to decide for them? What will I say? Uh, how about... Maybe they can go on another date. Ooh. Wait, what are you... Ooh, okay, 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 it's the little tutorial. Yeah, yeah. I understand, I understand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, he has the little... The earpiece in. Just like in Black Mirror. 
What's you like me, my significant other? <laughs> Affirmative, you have won my cardiovascular organ. Yeah, Pass complete. Hmm. Wait, just like in, just like in uh, Tarkov. Uh, true love has been achieved. <laughs> oh God! They took it. They took it to the next level. Holy shit! Having bubbly in the bubbles. Fart in the tub with me. I want to see it bubble up to the surface. What if they? What if they both fought it in the tub and their fart bubbles combined with each other and? Made like a little broth, like a little soup broth together. Dr. Rub and Tug with another win. Plus 10 reputation! Let's Your go! Your reputation level has improved after that Let's day. Let's fucking go! You'll now attract more affluent clients. Fuck yeah! I found love for Weed Hitler. We would have done 3D graphics, but they said I'd use up too many polygons. Oh, kitty powers. You're such well a card. Done. You're now officially a matchmaker. You're such a stupid slut. Click on your ID card. I want to watch See you your suffer. profile in more detail. Who is this? You can even compete with your friends if they play the game too. What? Really? This is your letterbox. Successful Ooh. clients will send you a letter to tell you how the relationship panned out. She has a very intense face. Don't forget to follow Magic Motion on Twitter and like Kitty Powers Matchmaker and Magic Motion on Facebook. Thank you, Kitty. She wrote that letter just for me. It's so sweet. Okay, what's our next client gonna be like? If Weed Hitler can find love, so can everybody, yeah. Hmm. Ooh, who's this? They look kinda tired. <laughs> I'm Cleo, and I'm a filing clerk, and I'm... Uh, what is he? What is under the desk? Mm. Greetings, my name is Cleo. Cleo Cornlong, <laughs> a filing clerk. Okay, she's a Capricorn. We can work with that. She likes crowdfunding, brainstorming, and home brewing. This is a real type of person. I bet she likes networking too and team building. Uh, and her favorite eye color is green with red hair. She likes gingers, I see. Mm. Somebody's gotta. <laughs> I'm interested in crowdfunding, brainstorming, and homebrewing. And I have a preference for green eyes and red hair. She's very corpo. Yeah, you can tell in her eyes and her complexion, like how uh, full of life and how vibrant she seems, how energetic she looks. She looks like she gets lots of sleep. Can you locate a suitable love match? That's a geeky type if ever I've seen one. Oh, another geek. Whilst you're matching your first couple, I've okay, refreshed we have to the find list her of people Gerl. in my She's little black She's interested in book. girls. She's Boring looking for a League of Legends girlfriend. With exciting new ones, giving you new dating possibilities. Don't worry. Okay, Kitty. I won't get rid of any candidates that you revealed personal details for. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, Eloise Donglong is a night security guard. That's pretty cool. I bet she's seen a lot of stuff. She likes retro games, reading instructions, and studying chemistry. Cool. Now we have Philomena Harbuckle. She likes renewable energy action movies and doing card tricks. And she's a taxi driver. Uh, Sky Pinkwing. That sounds like a My Little Pony name. She likes gas masks. <laughs> Going to bookshops and animated gifs. <laughs> and she's a traffic warden. Oh, Aaron is unsuitable because he, he is a guy. I see, I see. Fuck, I don't know. What would Cleo Cornlong like? Is this red and hair and green eyes? Oh, it highlights it if it... Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Can a 
girl who likes gas masks get along with a girl who likes crowdfunding? It's kind of like a modern Romeo and Juliet story. Very Shakespearean. You have 12 choices? Wait, I thought the rest of them are all unsuitable. Yeah, the rest of them are unsuitable. She doesn't want any of those broke boys. Mmm. I think someone who likes reading instructions would definitely get along with someone who likes crowdfunding and brainstorming. Let's send him on a date. Let's go, let's go. Oh no, I hate this mini game. I can never keep track of it. Yeah, it does sound like a, a light novel title. Oh, I was not paying attention. I can use 30 coins to cheat. Nah, I don't need to. Jerk King? Just jerk King. Bring me a doggy bag. The kingdom of jerking. I bid you welcome. Throw wide the gate. Oh, Jamaican me crazy. I will now enter the premises. Greetings, mm, mm. fellow human. I would surmise you are Eloise. Yeah, you must be Cleo, right? <laughs> Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. This could be the start of something special. I feel like I'm watching an episode of Love on the Spectrum. Wow, this restaurant is killing it. <laughs> Affirmative, I would tend to agree with that conclusion. <laughs> Your ocular organs are pleasing you. <laughs> I want to see what they look like when they're outside of the socket. Excellent, thanks. They're both mine too. Aye, aye, Captain. <clears throat> oh no, why is she making <laughs> micro expressions like that? Why is she doing micro aggressions? Okay, well, what kind of food <laughs> do you think she likes? Mm. Something hot with white meat would be fabuloso. Oh! She's the type of person that says fabuloso. She probably says like scrumptious too. Uh, white meat. Chicken is white meat. Pepper pot. Acra. It's gotta be chicky rice. Chicken and rice is a fucking classic meal. You can never go wrong with it. I don't think anyone dislikes chicken and rice. A wonderful tool. <laughs> Sounds amaze. Maze balls. Okay, we gotta pull the love handle to decide their conversation topic. Let's see what we got here. Interest and occupation. Mm. I forgot what her occupation is, this girl. What about interest? Maybe they can discuss brainstorming mm. together. Apparently you have an interest Ooh. in... What is most probable? Ah, uh, sports massage? Stud uh, studying chemistry. Should we talk about chemistry? I feel like that'd be pretty cheeky, like for like a date topic. <laughs> studying... Chemistry? Mm. <laughs> I really like studying chemistry. Mm. Advise your clients to tell the truth by pressing a green button. Oh. Or lie by pressing a red button. <gasps> we can have her do the LeBron James technique. But I don't know anything about chemistry. I don't know if I can make her lie correctly. Uh, I love it. I definitely didn't fall asleep during every single chemistry class in high school. Spin the wheel of misfortune to see if your client gets away with lying. Ever. No. If it lands on green, no. he'll get away with it. No. What happens if we don't get away with ah. it? He can't keep getting away with it. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> we got away with it. <laughs> That sounds both rational and logical. <laughs> yeah, it's everything. Hmm. It's the chemistry for me. I'm really loving the energy right now. What do you do for kicks? Hmm. Well, basically, I take my leg and I move it up. Sometimes I move it uh, horizontally. But it can be difficult. Oh, fuck. Let's, tell, let's have her tell the truth. She likes brainstorming. I think the this girl would be interested in brainstorming. <laughs> Wait, is homebrewing when you make like those disgusting... Like you take the scoby and make kom kombucha? You make booch? <laughs> that sounds mad good. <laughs> I am pleased by your reaction. 
Wait, what the... What? Oh no, is it... Dinner is served. Okay, when's the dessert? Topic, topic. Oh, not the weather. Ooh. Let's talk about their occupations. Tell me about your occupation, Eloise. Well, I'm a night security guard at the Momo. What would be the most rational thing to say? Meh? <laughs> Please, please let me get away with it. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes! 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 How incredibly impressive. Woot! All in a day's work for Super Me. Sometimes adulting can be so hard. How do you keep busy? I'm a filing clerk. But, oh, fuck. No, actually, tell her. Tell her you're a circus ringmaster. No, no, no. Tell her you're a portrait painter. And she'll be like, Oh, can you paint me sometime? That's how you get in. Hmm. We, we've had really good luck with lying before. Let's go. Let's go again. Three. Best three out of three. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. I am currently employed as a portrait painter. Oh no. Look at that face she's making. No, we fucked up. We're gonna ruin this girl's life. She's never gonna find her true love. She fumbled it. I am literally gagging to hear a good story. Have you got one? Affirmative. <laughs> Here's one you might enjoy. Find a matching pair in the clouds. I don't think this girl is geeky enough for this with girl. Their date. Ooh, find a matching pair in the clouds for them to share a whimsical memory with their date. Um, I'm good at matching. Get three attempts to dig it out of their memory, so oh. use them to narrow down the options. We gotta dig deep. Oh. Okay. In my youth, I had a loquacious parrot. <gasps> How did I get that first try? <laughs> and it can recite pi to the 573 decimal places. <laughs> Wicked! That's a great story! <laughs> Affirmative. It was the best thing since the Big Bang. You know what they say. Gamblers always win right before that's they give true. up. It's like the picture of the guy that's mining for the diamonds and he gives up right before he breaches into them. They're gonna have a Big Bang later. Later. That's <gasps> uh, I guess talk about clothing? That's an easy topic. What? Why did they ask, like, do you like my outfit? That's so awkward. I mean, if you like go up to someone uh, when you change and you're like, D is this my outfit look okay? That that's normal, right? But like in the middle of a conversation, just bringing it up like that, I wouldn't be seen dead in that. What do you have against hoodies? I'm not happy at all with that response. That is our second strike. Mm -hmm. Are you digging my outfit? Oh. I like it. Mm. It has fashion ability levels exceeding the norm. Mm. Thanks much, Lee. I feel well good now. <coughs> the girl on the right talks like a middle-aged mom writing an email. Here is your bill. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Mm. What amount should we tip the... Oh, no, the tipping conversation. <laughs> I reckon they totally deserve about 20%. I don't think they deserve shit. Time to break out those math skills or a calculator so that you can Are they the math the maker? I don't amount. think so. Wait, do I have to actually You don't want to contradict what their date said? They oh. might think that your client doesn't listen. No, 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 no. Wait, I thought this game took place in Europe. They don't do tipping over there. Thirty-four pounds for chicken and rice? This is highway robbery. Um, what is 20% of 34.34? Okay, 10% would be... 10% would be, um... $3? And then you double it to make 
Let's see them. <laughs> yeah, I did that all by myself. Here is the agreed monetary bonus. Ooh, a bit of a brainiac, aren't you? My brain is functioning at normal levels for a genius. Let's vacate the premises. That would be most rational. What the fuck? Are they like... Are they pillow talking? I have insufficient data to form an opinion. Oh, I guess they're gonna have to go on a second date. Ask for another date. To play it a little cooler and play the field? Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Do you envisage a further meeting? Mm. I am totally not sure. Do you think they're worth it? Maybe you'll beg? fare better next time. No, 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 no. No client of mine is going to beg. Th this person is not your future. <laughs> to hell with her. She, she doesn't even like your hoodie. Do not bother. Your bad attitude has put me off. Yeah, that's right. Stand up for yourself. Do not fucking beg. You are not a pitiful little goblin. You're not a thick, short, stack goblin. Gobble... Gobble... Gobblina. Fucking... Thick, short, stack... Goblin girl! What if... You know how people use that, like, Reddit speak? Like, Gobberino, Doggerino... Heckin' Pupperino? What if people use that with like while like dirty talking to each other? <laughs> like they're like, oh heck, my my heckin' dickerino, my heckin' my heckin' dickerino just did a a, a cummy. Ah, uh, heckin' sexerino. Oh no, uh, heckin' sexerinos. Wow, hats off to you, my lady. You're a heckin' good girl, Reno. Aw, oh, heckin'... Heckin' pupper... Heckin' pupper... Com... 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 Arena. Dang, I think we broke this person's heart. That would require whether does to have sex. Impossible. Mission impossible. Redditors do, in fact, do that. Unfortunately. Let's find another client. Wait, I need to get out of the geek zone. Yes. How do I change my... Oh no, we still haven't found someone for Cleo Corndog. We need to find someone more Reddit. What about Sky Pinkwing? Hmm... Philomena? Hmm... I mean... She doesn't really like her eye color or her hair color. Neither does this person. Neither does this person. Do you think she has a chance with Philomena? Is it over for her? Philomena Harbreco. Brony and Redditor go pretty well? I think so. Should we, should we get her to match up with the gas mask girl? Gas mask pony girl? She does like animated gifs. Animated gif gifs. And going to bookshops. And seems pretty nerdy. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to an American style restaurant. Okay, it's right here, it's right here. Yes! You're off to Route yes, 69. Yes. Bring me a doggy bag. Oh, Jesus. This is me or the names of the restaurant in this game kind of um, messed up. It's so hot in my room. I feel like I'm made out of sludge. What is... What is going on? Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Sky. Correct. I would definitely suggest you must be clear. Okay, they're definitely gonna head it off. They both talk like that. <laughs> this eating establishment is more than satisfactory. They like American food. <laughs> oh, they're hitting it off. <laughs> what would you like to eat? I would like to ingest a hot, no meat dish. Oh no, she's vegetarian. Alligator steak, corn dog, french fries, buffalo and mushroom meatloaf 
Sakatosh. Is Sakatosh hot? Sakatosh is hot. I guess french fries are no meat and hot. <laughs> I would require two rations of french fries, please. <laughs> That's kind of cute, just having a little french fry dinner date. They're gonna hate each other. <laughs> They're never gonna find love. Let's discuss facial disorder. Have you any thoughts on my burlesque makeup? That's burlesque makeup? I am of the opinion that it is quite nice. <gasps> she likes it! <laughs> Gratitude. I feel better about myself now. Hmm. What do you say about my clear complexion? I want to wear your face like a mask. <laughs> it is by far the best I have seen ever. <laughs> I feel considerably better now than I did a moment ago. <clears throat> Okay, 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 okay. Let's see how they feel if they're eating. We should put them in a life-threatening uh, situation to give them the suspension bridge effect. Just like have someone in on it, but orchestrate some kind of like uh, like a hold up at the restaurant. Have someone come in with a gun and be like, "Everyone, get the fuck down! Get the fuck on the ground! No! Put your hands up!" And act like they're robbing it and like trying to get cash out of the register. And then these two will go under the table and be like, Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna fucking die, we're gonna die. But they'll be like staring into each other's eyes the entire time. And they'll confuse the feelings of fear with attraction with one another. Uh. I like it when people experience primordial fear. Interests. Uh. Apparently you have an interest uh. in... Gas mask! I want to know more about that. <laughs> Correct, I do have an interest in gas masks. And... I think... Oh god, I can say... I can lie and say I love it or... Tell, make her tell the truth and she, she'll say I like it. We could gamble on the lie, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Honesty is the best policy for our clients. It pleases me that you think this way. Well, that's just that you have an interest in. Brainstorming. What is what is she gonna think of her brainstorming hobby? <gasps> she likes it! Wait! Oh yeah, maybe she's the she's like into I don't know, alternative fashion. With the gas mask thing. Maybe she's this, one of those people that likes to dress up in plastic and pretend to be a horse. I am pleased by your reaction. Mm -hmm. It has become necessary that I adjust my appearance. Please remain here. What? Mm -hmm. Affirmative. Mm -hmm. Where's she going? She's gonna go powder her nose? What the mm -hmm. fuck? Why did she... Did, why did she change her shirt? Did she spill on herself? Mm -hmm. Is everything in order? Mm -hmm. I made some changes to my appearance. What is your opinion? Oh no! What if she doesn't notice what she changed? Something has changed about their date. Fuck! You'd better spot the difference correctly. Oh no, I'm gonna or let I'm them sure down. I'm not sure they'll take it well. I did not notice anything aside from her shirt changing. Ah. Spot the difference? It's her shirt. It's her shirt, right? <laughs> got your nose, got your nose. Uh, she changed... she changed her clothes. Is it just one thing? It's just her clothes, right? Yes! Yes! I couldn't tell if she just... If she changed her hair or anything. <laughs> the improvements are clear and substantial. <laughs> Sorry, I, I ate too much red meat and I got the meat sweats. I had to change my shirt up. Smack my bitch mm. up. That is a completely different person. Mm. Well... Clothes can really make you feel like a, a new guy. Let's discuss their occupations. Mm. Please tell me your occupation. Mm. <laughs> I am presently occupied as a traffic warden. That sounds so medieval. Mm. Meh. Let's try to lie. Maybe she'll clutch it. And she'll buy it this time. Oh no. 
The odds are not looking good for our client, but... <gasps> no. No. One more. One more. What the fuck? <laughs> Telling lies? Eating sugar? <laughs> the celebrated chef approaches our table. <laughs> Who's this? I hope everything is to your satisfaction. <laughs> it's full of nutritional goodness. <laughs> so what is it that you liked about it? Feel free to exaggerate wildly. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on this matter? Oh. Erk, apparently I need your help. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh. Quickly, the buttons is about to play a sequence. Watch it carefully. What? When it finishes, you need to repeat the sequence in order to express their food expertise. Ooh. Uh. Okay, I'm watching. Texture, hint, satisfaction, moistness, presentation. Ah. Okay, texture, hint, satisfaction, Ooh. moistness, presentation. Ooh. Yes! Yes! Yes. He put something in the water today. <laughs> and actually, like, my mental faculties are operating so intensely today. I'm delighted to hear that. <laughs> well, knowledge on the subject is beyond reproach. <laughs> Latitude, I've been memorizing the dictionary recently. <laughs> Have you ever tried to read the dictionary from, like, start to finish? <laughs> <laughs> I would always look up bad words in it when I was a kid. It would be expedient for us to leave them. There was a big dictionary at our library in my elementary school. And we would always open it up to the page that had the, had penis on it. And just leave it there. <laughs> I almost got in so much trouble. What will I say? Bro, do you think she can clutch it? Do you think she'll say yes? Ask them out right now, at the risk of appearing desperate. What would be desperate about that? I think they're chill. She can do it. She can do it. She can pull through. Her heart has been broken into many pieces when she was rejected by the the weird... I don't even remember the other girl. What, what was her occupation? A flag waver? Hmm. Was you... Would you like to be my significant other? Mm. <gasps> yes! We made a match! Mm. Excitement overload. Excitement overload. Oh, another happy couple. Yes, another success story. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> now they're going to kiss a lot. I don't want to see any of that, though. No offense. Ooh, I'm a tightwad. <laughs> I really don't like that word. <laughs> That's another one of those words that sounds vaguely like a slur. I'm a bottom feeder now! Dr. Rub and Plum moving on up in the matchmaking world. Uh. I got sports button. Why? Why would I want to export Dr. Rub and Tug? Okay. Let's well done. see. You earned a promotion. Wait, I think it's what? time to expand the agency. Can we go to a different district now? Whoa. It's time to unlock your first personality trait. This will increase the detail of your customer pro. You'll be able oh. to make better matches. However, oh. candidates in the black book won't reveal their information until you ask them about it. Oh, that's tough. Fuck, what should we unlock? Activities, social spiciness, tradition, or organization? I want to unlock spiciness. Spicy little bottom I feeder. I certainly want to know if my date is sweet and lovely or a rampant beast. Oh, <laughs> kitty powers. You're so wild and rambunctious. Oh, there's a shop? This what can I get? This is the kitty shop. As you get promoted, you unlock oh. new pages in my black book of candidates oh. by purchasing. As you start attracting page. more customer types, okay, you'll need okay. more pages to purchase Mom. any items. It allows okay, that's in the useless, salon. That's useless, that's you can useless. This is where you can expand your choice of Australian restaurants to send restaurant. dates on. We can send them to Outback Steakhouse. Paid. Each restaurant comes with a new dating dilemma that can happen a on German any restaurant? date. Greek restaurant. 
Indian restaurant, Thai restaurant, Japanese, Chinese, Swedish. Why is Swedish the ultimate level? Rawr. The Swedish. The Swedish are coming. Quiet, the mm. Swedish can hear everything. I have to, I have to think quietly. <laughs> Let's go, uh, can we go somewhere else? I really don't like the geek area. I hate it. Get me out of Ooh. here. I don't like them. I don't like them. Oh, and there's 20 minutes until the next client comes in. Fuck. Fine, I guess we have to pick her. I'm a gardener and I'm looking for a woman. All you do is play in the dirt all day, huh? Okay, Amy Netby. She likes blue eyes, silver hair, space travel, reading textbooks, and role-playing games. And uh, her personality, she is romantic. But the rest of the personality types are, are locked. We're gonna have to figure them out. Okay. I reckon myself to be romantic. Can you find me my dream date? They're a bit date? of a geeky type, aren't they? No. Clients with the blue globe symbol are other players' avatars. Sending Wait. them on a date will get you a coin bonus. You might even what recognize one of your friends. What? Valentina Nutwell. A car wash attendant. Wait, can these be people from my friends list who have played this game before? No way. What? So I can match them up with her? Daisy Goosewell is a bus driver. Okay, she's a Virgo. She likes elves, internet memes, and focus groups. She is mentally ill. And her personality is a secret. Kate Poopwater is a cleaner. She likes going to the library, battle reenactments, and MMORPGs. Whoa! And she... Okay, Amy likes role-playing games. And... She... She... Uh, this girl likes her hair and eye color. But what about Valentina Nutwell? Power tools, giving to charity, and remote-controlled cars? Mm, not a match. There's nobody with silver hair. Oh, here's a uh, Philomena Harbuckle again. Let's send her with Kate Hoopwater. Oh, the, the hoop lock. Hmm. She's a, a WoW player, or even worse, a Final Fantasy XIV player. America? 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 Hmm. Let's go! Route 69. How delightful. Why not not well? Because uh, they just didn't seem compatible. I don't know. I'm a matchmaker. I just did not get the vibe that they would hit it off. I'm like totally bricked up. Hiya. Are you Kate? Yes, I am. You must be Amy. It's so fab to meet you. Keep everything crossed. This is a nice place, isn't it? Yeah, it's had like rave reviews. I love your blue eyes. Thanks, they're like not even contacts. I love your blonde hair too. I don't know, this lady's coming on strong to our client. Can I get an amen? <laughs> <laughs> this seems like so stilted. Like the way they talk in this game, but this is how everyone on Love is Blind talks. Every single person on that show for the last few seasons is completely interchangeable and they all talk like an Instagram caption. Every single sentence out of their mouth is just like, yeah, I'm really feeling this. It's the vibes for me. Can't wait to pour up a glass of wine. Hashtag Friday feeling. <laughs> Totes. What's on your food radar? Chica? Mm. I like something hot with red meat. Jambalaya. Peanut, let's get her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Is this Philly cheesesteak have red meat? Oh, 
have two Philly cheesesteak if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Last time I had Philly cheesesteak, I got really, really sick. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because it was undercooked or because it had cheese in it, and it was before I knew that I was lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. Delicious Rooney. Mm. Oh god! Isn't jambalaya mm. like it's got shrimp in it? Okay. Choose a topic. Ooh, weather, hairstyle, or horoscope. Let's do hair. Mm. Do you like my hair, dude? Mm. It looks like a bit of a mess, to be honest. Is it windy? What? Bro, her hair is so slicked down and like gelled that it looks like a helmet. Mm. You just got no taste. Mm. Oh no. Mm. What do you think of my hair? Looks like shit. Mm. What would you do? You should cut it with a fucking lawnmower? Mm. <laughs> Someone actually said that to me once. When I was in ninth grade, I was on the bus going to school, and I had cut my own bangs that morning because they were getting in my eyes. And my neighbor said that it looked like a lawnmower cut them. <laughs> That's nice of you to say so. What? Who's that? Who? Who? who, who? Oh, it's the waiter. Dinner is served. You have long flowing black hair? Yeah. I have really long flowing black hair. Uh, my voice sounds like Ariana Grande and I look like Megan Fox. And uh I my IQ is 90. Weather, weather, weather. No, I don't want to do weather. Let's go up and do a spiciness. Mm. When doing the housework, do you mm. wear a nice apron mm. or do it in your undies? What is this question? Mm. <laughs> Good question. Mm. I wear a nice apron. <laughs> Boring. Mm. How about you? Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, I wear a nice apron. Yeah, I definitely don't do it in a diaper or anything. Mm. Old romantics. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, they're actually mm. they're getting along. Tell me, have you got any good stories? Mm. Oh yeah, this one's good. Oh no, it's the matchmaking one. Okay. Mm. When I was much younger, I had a pet gerbil. Fuck. Mm. Uh, two more tries. Mm. When I was younger, we'd go to France for our holidays. Okay, wait, wait, let me, let me cheat. Wait, that didn't do anything. Huh? Mm. Wait! Yes! Mm. <laughs> I broke the record for running backwards in a chicken suit! Mm. <laughs> wow, that's a fantastic story and not dumb as fuck at all. <laughs> it's the winningness one ever. I haven't seen ever be spelled like that in like 10 years. Oh, dude. Mm. This is Winrar. Ah, uh, fine. Let's discuss the weather. Mm. <laughs> the weather today was like totally, you know. <laughs> or, oh no, she hates it. Oh my god. Was it raining? I can't remember. It was good weather. <laughs> was the weather totes gorge today? <laughs> yes, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> right then, that's the weather pretty much covered. <sighs> the conversation around here is pretty low quality. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. I knew we shouldn't have done the weather conversation. <laughs> Fuck, we're fumbling it. She put her trust in us and we're just fucking everything up. <laughs> Let's give them 10%. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Amy. You know, they don't have a livable wage, right? You're gonna give them table scraps? You might as well just spit in their face. Okay. 10% of... That would be... $3.13. Nailed it! Aren't you clever? Yeah, I totally pay attention in math class. I think they want to clear the table. Yeah, I'm down with that. Why don't we help them? Why don't we go back into the kitchen and mess with the pots and pans? Create a little chaos. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. 
think she's gonna get rejected? Ooh, okay, let's just see. How's about yous and me? <gasps> we did it! We got another <laughs> successful match! Only I can change my relationship to status and everything. <laughs> Yay! The fart bubbles are mixing together. Mm, yum, 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 yum. I got three hearts out of three. Holy fuck, let's go. Kate and Amy. Plus eight. We are moving on up. I want to match someone who isn't a geek. I'm tired of all these geeks and gamers. How do I get to the map without going in? Hipster types love postmodern irony boutique business startups, autism, coffee, and facial hair. And bacon. Mm. Okay, uh... Can we not change location until... Fuck. I'm Julian. I'm a gopher. <laughs> a gopher? Like the thing that comes out of the hole to decide if winter is gonna last longer? Okay, we can work with that. He's looking for a woman. He's looking for a woman to open up her bob. King Julian, he likes building bunkers. Archery and battle reenactments. Oh no, he's probably racist. <laughs> and he is spicy. He likes brown eyes and ginger hair. <laughs> I hate to label people, but they're clearly a geeky type. Oh no. Why is everyone so geeked up? Oh, uh, Esme Cherry Day with Julian Appleberry. She is a door to door salesperson. She likes action figures. Wait! They're almost a really good match. Vampire romance movies and watching fail videos. All right, let's see what else we got. Fiona Donkeythorpe. The Libra. Metal detectors giving to charity and scantily clad heroines. Jasmine Kwakovich. She likes survivalism, software engineering, and tabletop war games. Way. Fuck. I mean, he likes her eyes, but she likes blue-eyed, silver-haired people. And she's a used car salesperson, which is kind of a red flag. Jesse Fishhouse likes blue sky thinking. What is that? What is blue sky thinking? Binoculars and open world video games. And she collects refuse. Lottie Clapwait is a UFO chaser who likes going to the library, life drawing, and studying chemistry. <laughs> Boring. A child my. <laughs> I thought that's a child miner, <laughs> like someone who goes mining for children. <laughs> in, in the child mines. She's a Gemini. She likes cobweb necklaces, indie software development, and LARP. Okay, she could definitely get along with someone who likes battle reenactments then. I feel like the survivalist lady is gonna be the best though. Where was she again? Survivalism... Wait, no, not her. No, this girl! This is like almost a perfect match. Let's try them together. Julian and Esme. She craves ah. mines. Should we send them to a Jamaican restaurant? I want to go to Jerk King. <laughs> Jerk King, eh? That's a fancy choice. The Jerk King. He summons his audience of jerkmates. 
to the throne. Here, here. Active personalities won't be unhealthy. Oh. I hope they are compatible. Oh, why do they all talk like this? <laughs> oh, what a lovely pair. <laughs> Let's watch them melt out. I want to watch them make out with full tongue. <laughs> yeah. uh, Affirmative. I would tend to agree with that conclusion. Uh, <laughs> Wait, they like each other's eyes and uh, they got their eye on them. Hair. <laughs> They're just complimenting each other, showering each other with praise. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What does she want to eat? What is your preferred sustenance? Hot white meat dish. <laughs> And she doesn't like spicy food. Oh, she is a nerd. What is stamp and go? Jerked chicken salad? Excuse me? Are you telling me not only do they brutally murder a chicken and then like tear the feathers out and prepare it for a meal, they jerk it before they do it too? Who jerks the chicken? Does the butcher do it? Can you tell? Like if a chicken is jerked or not jerked when you're eating it? Does it have like a softer... Softer texture? The chicken... The chicken got really tired before it was... Killed and eaten. It's more creamy. Okay, okay. Just a little... A little more creamier. A little softer. What is ackee? Ackee and salt fish. Vegetable patty. She likes white meat. No spice. Chicken and rice is pretty, like, when it comes to anyone's palate, it's pretty inoffensive. Do not know about the jerked chicken. What the fuck is Aki? When I was little, my mom would refer to, like, turds or feces or poop, what have you, as Aki's. And I don't know where that comes from. I've asked so many people in my life, if their parents ever did that too, and they're all like, no, and they look at me like I'm crazy. My mom probably is an alien. Yeah, like O C K I E S. She'd be like, oh, you made an Aki in your diaper. Oh, there's Aki's in the toilet. It smells like Aki's in here. Is it supposed to be like saying Aki? Like, oh, yucky Aki, but kind of like got bastardized along the way? Oh, an Aki's type of fruit. Okay, let's go with classic chicken uh -huh. rice. <laughs> it's a apple. It's a fruit of the soapberry family. <laughs> yes, chicken and rice wins yet another one over. Ah, uh, I've learned my lesson before. We're never using the weather topic again. Let's have them talk about their interests. <laughs> Uh, you like watching fail videos. Wait, no, she doesn't. What the fuck? Ah, she likes vampire romance movies and urban exploration, I think. Did she like action figures? Uh, let's just do vampire romance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do have an interest in vampire romance. <laughs> Wait, he likes it. Okay, I have an interest in archery, battle reenactments, and dwarven kingdoms. <laughs> Imagine lying about this to like get clout. <laughs> Just like fuck, I really need to impress my date. So what are you into? Uh, dwarven kingdoms. I like. I like Sorcerers of Eld. I like Ancient Squipsaw. What do you think she would like the most about him? Building bunkers, archery, or battle reenactments? Let's go with... Battle reenactments. <laughs> is she gonna be impressed or is she gonna think he's a dweeb? <gasps> she likes it! Yay! Oh, they're really hitting it off. This is so sweet. Behold! Hmm. A sorcerer of eld. 
The Elden Tree. Mm. Should we have them talk about their occupation? I feel like talking about weather and horoscope is just so boring. Huh? That, they do that on Love is Blind too. Thank God they're in a fucking like hyperbolic chamber where they can't see outside for weeks and weeks when they do the social experiment thing for the reality TV show. Otherwise, they definitely would talk about the weather. Bro, every single scene where they're in the pause is just like... Oh yeah, I'm like, I like that Libra and the... Uh, yeah, that means I'm like really methodical and I, I like to breathe and eat food. I like to move around, but sometimes I don't like to move around. Sometimes I feel like sitting down, but other times I feel like sitting up. And the other person is always like, yeah, I really love that about you. Love the energy that you're giving off right now. Like, I really can see us like in the future, like sitting up and standing down together. Maybe like sitting, sitting down together, maybe standing up together. Maybe we can go on a walk and walk and uh, eat food together. I'm envisioning it right, right now. It sounds really cool. I still like watching it though. It's like the most brain rottingest television I can possibly consume. I need it. At the end of the day, I need to watch something that brain dead. It's what keeps me sane. <laughs> I am presently occupied as a door to door salesperson. What does she sell? Oh. That is pretty meh. I can't imagine someone being a door-to-door -door salesperson and actually being okay with the job that they have. Like, th is that your job that you want to do? She just seems so excited about it. Let's lie. Yeah, let's lie and do the cheat thing. Come on, come on, come on. Or maybe we don't even have to cheat. Because we're going to... Cheat, cheat. Wait, the cheat just gives you an extra spin? Oh. No. I got fucking. No, I can't cheat again! <laughs> yeah. How incredibly impressive. I suspect they are telling lies. She's going to kill him later. <coughs> I got scammers. Can I interest you in something from the desert trolley? Yes! <laughs> Fuck! We've, bro, we've helped so many people on dates and they haven't had dessert yet. I've been looking forward to this. I'm willing to risk the sugary impact on my BMI. <laughs> Eating sugar, soursop, skinny tea, soursop, skinny tea, cheese board. That sounds disgusting. Sour slop. Okay, we got sour slop, skinny tea, and cheese board. Sour slop, and then a skinny. What was the skinny? What was the skinny? Skinny latte. What is sour slop ice cream? Yeah. We require one ruffle of some waffle, please. <laughs> I have not experienced anticipative salivation like this before. Yeah. Yeah. She has a way with words. Yeah. Okay, one more conversation. What would my likes in this game be? Yeah. Running fast? Uh sleeping? And Dirt. Water with no ice. Fuck, we already talked about occupation. Should we do the dreaded horoscope conversation? Or re-roll? Let's do a spiciness question. <laughs> uh, part of why should spice up your relationship, do you? <laughs> Make them <laughs> Or put a skinny outfit. What if you eat hot curry and have a really bad upset stomach while while wearing a skimpy outfit? Hmm. Just a thin piece of fabric, just a thin little piece of thorn fa fabric holding back all your thoughts. Let me think about that. <laughs> Make them a hot curry. Hmm. What is your answer to the same question? Oh. Oh, he doesn't like curry. Should we lie? She, I think she is more of the romantic type versus spicy, and that's why she said the curry thing. 
hot steaming curry. Would you rather eat poop flavored curry or curry flavored poop? He literally calls himself spicy. Yeah, let's just tell the truth and see. Mm. I am unused to your level of sauciness. Oh my god, we we creeped her out. She's offended by him. I do not understand your thought processes, femoid. Mm. It would be expedient to reimburse the establishment. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh. Now it's awkward. The vibes are off. Bro, we have two strikes out of three. <sighs> oh. Oh. It's fun. Do you guys remember what the waiter was? <laughs> no, it's not a racism test. <laughs> it was one of the, yeah, I was testing I was testing you guys. I was testing you guys. <laughs> I have good memory. And I'm not racist. Which are like two very good qualities about me. That I would put on my profile if I were a character in this game. <laughs> you have our gratitude. <laughs> Here's a tip for gratitude. It is fortunate that you correctly identified the waiter. <laughs> uh, wipes sweat off of my brow and exhales with relief. The staff are urging us to leave. They should stay after hours uh, and haunt the mm. restaurant. Uh. Did Shakespeare write the dialogue? No, this is better than Shakespeare. Okay, I think he's really into her, but I don't know if she's into him. Should we chance it and have her ask him have him ask her out? Him 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 <laughs> Wait, bro, he's in! <laughs> excitement overload, excitement overload. Ooh. She's tweaking his little nipples under the tub. Ooh. 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 I am delirious with happiness. He gave me 10 gold coins. <gasps> Yo, I got so much monies from that. And I think I'm gonna level up. Almost, almost, almost. My reputation went up though. I have a great reputation. I have a bad reputation. The higher your reputation, the higher your fee per day. I can really just scam all these people. Kind of like that one cult. What was it called? The Twin Flame Cult? Where people were like... Matching a bunch of random people up on Facebook. For making them pay thousands and thousands of dollars to them. But it was okay, because they were like, if you pay us, we'll help you find your soulmate. So it's like a service to the people, to the community. Hmm. Whoa, we have so many clients now. Wait, can we change where we go? How do I... Ah. How do I not go to Geek World? Ah. Okay, let's do one more. I'm getting really sweaty. And I do not want to stream for six hours today. I'll be real. I gotta work on the uh, stuff for tomorrow. And... Um... My appendix just burst. I'm gonna have to go check that out. Fuck. This guy looks... I'm Jimmy. I'm a child minder. <laughs> Jimmy, the child minder. <laughs> Oh, he's a Scorpio. I know all about that horoscope. They're like mysterious and romantic. Jimmy, clap homie, likes dwarven kingdoms, voodoo, and history documentaries. And he's romantic. Let's see if we can find someone for him. He's looking for a man. I hate to label people, but they're clearly a geeky type. I bet he's a trampoline in his backyard. Oh, there's so many tabs. Yeah, are these all unsuitable? Unscrutable? Wait, why is this guy unscrutable? Is it because he's a... Uh, not a geek? CN Light Teen, a win window cleaner. Looks very bored. He likes playing the didgeridoo. He's Australian. Storm chasing. Oh, he's definitely Australian. And software engineering. Ooh. It's a secret. 
His personality is a secret. I don't know if he's a good match for our boy Jimmy. Dwight Hempsey is a hotel door attendant. Likes MMORPGs, which is a pretty good match with Dwarven Kingdoms. Playing the violin and writing checklists. Edward. Beta software, fantasy princesses, and aliens. <laughs> what the fuck? He, he likes his eye color. I guess. He's a gooner. What about Mackenzie Bullwine? Kinda looks like a vampire. He likes casual video games, spooky stories, and watching fail videos. Yo, Master Ham, he likes occult trinkets, indie software development, and role-playing games. But none of these guys have the look that this guy is looking for. He wants green eyes and green hair. Fuck. Hmm. I mean, we could send him with Dwight. Mr. Dwight. These people are boring. <laughs> yeah. These are all just NPCs. This guy likes brown eyes. And black hair, which is close to brown hair. Are there really people who have like preferences on like eye color or hair color of people that they date? Like for real? Hitler did? <laughs> <laughs> Judge King, eh? But the not not lead Hitler though. Very vain people. Bro, I've never like once thought like, bro, whoever they oh. has to have uh, this oh. eye color and the hair color. So I'm not uh -huh. racist. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Edward. <laughs> They're communicating. Oh, what a let lovely them, pair! Let them fight. <laughs> you think they're tickling each other's squotes under the table? <laughs> okay, 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 they're hitting off. <laughs> okay, he wants something hot with red meat from Jerk King. Jerk chicken? No, that's not red meat. Pepper pot? Curry goat. Is goat red meat? Yes? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, indubitably so. <laughs> Speed on this shit. <sighs> interest. Hmm. Uh, you have an interest in fantasy princesses. Wait, is he the same guy that had the the princess interest? I don't remember. Let's try it. <laughs> I love fantasy princesses. <laughs> That sounds rational and logical. <laughs> I wonder what his favorite princess is. Mm. What are you into? Oh. Real princesses. Ooh, history documentaries. What do you think this guy would like to hear from him the most? Doing squats. <laughs> Let's say dwarven kingdoms. <laughs> Whoa, he likes it! Yes! Was that a guess? No, no. <coughs> I, I knew that. <laughs> this game is making me hungry. Man, this is what Cupid has to do all the time. Oh, let's do the spicy question. On Valentine's Day, do you buy your loved one a bunch of roses or some massage oil? I buy them motor oil. Oh, he did the spicy answer. Oh. Oh, this guy, this guy is more of the romantic variety. Uh-oh. Let's try to lie. Lying a little bit won't hurt. Um... Oh. Fuck! God damn it! Okay, roll again, roll again. Reroll, 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 reroll. Definitely some massage oil. <laughs> You're a real hot tamale. I like, I like. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, 
Oh, their relationship is gonna be built off of a lie. Can you imagine when these guys get together and their first Valentine's Day and he doesn't give him the massage oil? <laughs> He's gonna cry. <laughs> gonna get all oiled up. <laughs> He's gonna buy him the wrong type of oil. He's gonna buy him like olive oil. Here I am. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh no, he changed his appearance, but I have no idea what he did. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um... You guys know what he changed, don't you? You know. Yeah, he was definitely taking a shit in there. Mm. What is the amount of time where you start getting suspicious of someone where you feel like they're probably taking a shit in the bathroom versus doing anything else? Like, what is the threshold? I always get, like, nervous and paranoid if- even if I'm just taking a pee, if the pee lasts a little too long, or if I'm, like, in there having to, like, blow my nose or something. I try to, like, play it off to make it seem like I definitely wasn't taking a shit. But I don't really know how. Even if I didn't take a shit, I don't know how to, uh, make it seem like I wasn't in there shitting, you know? Can you tell someone, like... Even if you don't know how long they were in there, can you tell? Like, can you smell it on them? Do you want to hide it that bad? You don't understand, do you? Just play taking a shit as a joke? That is not funny. Scream when the turd drops to mask the sounds. really loud but the coughing noise can be mistaken for like a sound of exertion as you're ripping one out pinching off a loaf in there actually i have smelled someone when they left the bathroom and they did kind of smell like they shitted one time i was over at my friend's house when i was in middle school and her brother was taking a shit in the toilet and we came up with this awesome prank idea where we just like got on all fours and when he opened the door after flushing and came out, we just like got on all fours and crawled into the bathroom and just sniffed the air, pretending that we were dogs. Can you actually smell? Can you? Okay. Can you smell if someone has the shit if it's like knocking on the door? Like if there's one in the chamber, can you tell? Can you tell by the smell? Apparently, there was like a scientific experiment done <laughs> where like an actual experiment where they tested to see if like guys can smell if a girl is ovulating and they just got like all these different shirts from from women who got really sweaty and haven't showered and just put them in a pile and had the guys smell it and apparently the those shirts that were from ovulating women caused an increase in testosterone in the the male patients the subjects which is fucked up. And they didn't even know. Like, they couldn't really tell if there was, like, a difference in smell or anything. But their body could, like, sense the, the pheromones and shit. That's messed up. I don't like being an animal. I'm different than that. I have, like, higher thinking. So, like, in that case, could they do a scientific experiment where they take people, like, a shirt from someone who just recently pinched off a log in the bathroom versus people who didn't? and see if it would cause an increase in pheromones in someone? Or hormones? Aren't you a cat? Yeah, I always bury my poop when I... Or do you mean about the... the other thing? I don't know what this guy changed. I think it was his outfit. I don't, I don't know. Oh, this guy's gonna die alone. It was his hair color. What? How the fuck would anyone notice that difference? It's like, his hair changed like one octave. Hey. How did he dye his hair in the bathroom? Hey. Gym bros be like, on my way to smell my mom's dirty clothes. <laughs> Ew. Her what? <laughs> 
Wait, could that actually be like a technique for like increasing your T levels when you want to go work out? To get like a really, really good workout for the gains? Could you, like if you have like a mother or a sister or like any kind of lady living with you, could you like track her ovulation by keeping, keeping track of like when she has her period, you just count like the days and find her ovulation day, go into her dirty laundry and just smell for a bit, just like huff her, her sweaty shirt and get like a tea testosterone boost? Whoa. Let's talk about interests. Hmm. Apparently you have an interest oh. in beat poetry. <laughs> Beta software. Oh god, what if we have a repeat conversation? Is he gonna be mad? Uh he likes aliens, right? Uh. He loves aliens. <laughs> Ooh, they're bonding over their shared love of uh extraterrestrial life. Oh. Uh I like history documentaries. <laughs> Especially World War II ones. Uh, uh, that sounds fun. Uh, uh, I'm pleased by your reaction. Uh, uh, mm, Look, the celebrated mm. chef approaches our table. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't like the chef's, like, vocalizations. Uh, uh. <laughs> what would you do if you were on a date with someone and they just started, like, yelling at the waiter or the chef? Like, even if there was a hair in their food or something, or maybe their soup came cold, or their food was undercooked... It, oh, even in that context, if they yelled at the waiter or the chef, wouldn't that be, like... Mm. Uh. I feel like it'd be pretty awkward. What if they just started, like, slapping the chef around right in front of you? Mm. And, like, karate chopping them? Oh no, not another memory game. Satisfaction? And... Underbelly, overtone, aftertaste. Mm. 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 Oh my god! I got it, bro! <laughs> none of you, none of you could have possibly done that. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> you really know your foodie jargon, don't you? <laughs> I love watching epic meal times. Gratitude. I have been memorizing the dictionary. That chef is a genius in the kitchen. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? Do you think they're compatible? <laughs> oh, I bet he's so embarrassed from when he didn't recognize that he changed his hair color slightly. It's good enough. Who is the bottom? Yeah, I wish, like, this game went more in depth to, like, them going home and spending the night together and then, like, in the morning, like, how they deal with that. Like, is one of them gonna stay and make breakfast and coffee for the other one? Or are they just gonna, like, awkwardly leave? I wanna see them get married and, like, die of old age together. I wanna see them make memories together. And, like, family stuff. I wanna see them, like, get into fights and then have to, like, spin the wheel to decide how good the fight goes. And then you have to do, like, a memory game to remember their anniversary and stuff. I want to see them get wrinkly. I want to see them pass away together in each other's arms. Hmm. <laughs> yes! Another match! Bro, we have to level up now. Whoa, he's head over heels in love! So great, Jimmy and Edward. Jimmy and Edward love each other. <gasps> I leveled up to underling. Ooh, love each other. I have jiggle physics, but on all the wrong parts. <laughs> what? Congratulations. You earned another promotion. <laughs> what? Let's enlarge your premises. What would be a wrong part to have jiggle physics? Like your earlobes? She's having a bit of a laugh, a cheeky giggle. So, where are we going to go looking for love-hungry people? Her toes are made out of the flubber material. Her fupa. Ooh, kitty powers. We can go anywhere else now! We can go to the club, we can go to the gym. Let's see what the gym bros are doing. 
I'm off to the gym to drum up some business from those sporty types. Ooh. They must want some good loving. They're going to pump some iron, all right. Fuck. I want to see what the, the gym people are like and see if I can match them then. Cool. Okay, one more, one more. I'm sweaty and I have to go. I absolutely have to go. I'm streaming too much. I have to cut myself mm. off. So I can adhere to my schedule. Okay, let's see. Let's go with this really sus looking guy. Wait, what about... This girl with the, like... Delinquent hairstyle. <laughs> I'm Jessica. I'm an oh, office assistant. Yeah. And I'm... Looking for a man. <laughs> Why do they do that? Jessica had... She likes pixel art, retro games, and science fiction novels. And she's spicy. Okay, let's see if we can find someone. Let's find her a man. Let's find a man for Jessica. She likes brown hair and brown eyes. That's a geeky type if ever I've seen one. Oh no, Egbert Faberger. Cameron Woodlock. Hamish Fishgood. Mmm, Hamish. Ivan Middlelord. Nathaniel Vendermore and Ronan Hatlock, a bus driver. Now that you've got different... If you've got enough coins, you can reveal the type of a candidate by pressing the question mark Ooh, button. Ooh, I have enough coins. Like them mark. Oh, they're geeky. Okay, a geeky bus driver. They <laughs> crystal healing, drawing, and going to bookshops. Oh, God. I mean, they're both geeky and kind of artistic. And he likes her green eyes. Hamish likes monster, computer game characters, and going to the library. Brag about it? Egbert likes UFOs, LARP, and fairy stories. <laughs> what about Cameron? He likes Sudoku, games consoles, and alphabetizing bookshelves. Ivan. Ivan likes playing tennis, fake tan, and personal grooming. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I bet this guy likes horses too. A little too much. I like goblins, microscopes, and medical research. Oh, no, he seems like a little too strict for her. She seems kind of more like a free spirit. I don't know. What, what kind of type is he? Should I waste 75 coins to reveal it when... Uh, I feel like the other guy... Where was he? Was it... Hamish? No. Egbert? No. Cameron? No. Hamish? No. Ronan? It was Ronan, the crystal healer. Let's send them together. They might be a good match. Hmm. Ronan? Goblins aren't sci-fi? Hmm. Well, who's to say that alien life exotic. somewhere out there isn't goblin-like? Oh, where's the heckin' goblin Reno's? Are we really alone in the universe? <laughs> Tell me it's not true. I can feel my heart pounding. Why is she wearing a wife beater? <laughs> Are you Ronin? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Here we go again. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to like each other. <laughs> okay, they, they like their Head's eyes. <laughs> Gone tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Okay, he wants hot red meat. She seems skeptical of that. Uh, uh? And anything wheat based is right out. Oh, I don't know. This guy seems like a pussy. Don't invite them to my oh, house for sorry. dinner. I can't eat any wheat. I have a gluten allergy. It hurts my stomach. Bad genetics. Pork pie? Homedy pie? Lancashire hot pot? Winter salad and haggis. Haggis is hot red meat, right? And there's no wheat in it. <laughs> Two portions of haggis, please. <laughs> oh, he likes it. He, he's a big fan of haggis. <laughs> I thought 
haggis was a Scottish dish. Ooh. It's like a sheep intestines, right? <laughs> Ooh, let's talk about spiciness. Mm. When shopping in department stores, do you head for mm. the... Oh, this is the home furnishing department versus underwear mm. question. Mm. <laughs> what do you guys do when you go to the home department store? Do you... <laughs> Go to the underwear section? Yeah. Oh, he likes home furnishing. Oh. oh. And she likes underwear. Mm. I mean, an underwear could be a home furnishing. Oh! It's all crusted up enough. You can make like an art installation out of it. He's a furniture fucker. Do not let this guy in Ikea. He will get way too horned up. Oh jeez, is that a, a sofa? Whoa! Ooh. Let's... Okay, they definitely do not get along on spiciness. Let's see if they like each other's clothes. What do you think of my outfit? It looks... shitty. It is adequate. Oh god. Um, thanks. She's gonna go home and cry now. She has rejection sensitivity. Do you like my outfit? Ooh. You know what? You send his energy right back at him. Do not take that. That was just rude as fuck. Mm. Just tell the truth. <laughs> you'll try to see the positive in that remark. Oh, oh yeah? How does it feel? You can dish it, but you can't take it? <laughs> can't take it like just like you can't take gluten and wheat? Little nerd boy? Little baby bitch? Would you share a story from your life experience? <laughs> I'm going to talk about the trauma in my childhood. Mm. My school friends and I went into a scoopy, sp spooky old house once and... Oh, shit. Mm. Uh, we used to go to the seaside on our holidays. <laughs> I built a sand castle so huge it needed planning permission. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Your story has attained the highest level of engrossment. <laughs> it was great, actually. She kind of sounds like she's bragging and being self-centered. I don't know. You look like... A disgusting wet dog. Let's talk about interests. Prayer beads. He likes crystal healing. Oh no. He's gonna bring out his fucking Rubik's Cube or whatever. His fucking, uh... Redondo. What is that called again? Shit, shit lock? Shit black? The thing that Dr. Disrespect would always show. What's it called? It's like a. Shungai, Shungai, yeah, Shungai. Oh. Shungai, Shungai, Shungai. Shall I tell the truth or lie about it? Oh, yeah, crystal healing is so cool. I, I'd love to hear more about it and hear about, uh,. How I can align my energies. It sounds so real. It sounds so real and uh I could hear you talk about it for hours and hours. It pleases me that you think this way. You think the same way that I do, and therefore I'm liking you more. Shall I tell them the truth? Tell them the truth, you can do it. You have to you have to stand up to this guy. Can't let him do the weird red pill alpha stuff on you. He's trying to neg her. That's exactly what he was doing with that outfit comment. I'm on to him. He's trying to get the upper hand, but I'm not going to lead our girl astray. She likes pixel art. I really like pixel art. That sounds acceptable. That's nice of you to say. But it's actually evil pixel art. I only make pixel art of all of my co-workers that I hate a lot being decapitated and drawn and quartered. I make graphic gory pixel art of all, especially Susan from HR, being fucking gutted alive. What did the waiter look like again? It was Malachi, right? 
I was not paying attention to the waiter at all. Who was it? Was it him? It was him. It was he. <coughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Here's your bill. Uh. Oh no, are they gonna make me calculate the tip again? I never forget a face. Uh. <laughs> the vibes are kind of awkward between these two. Uh. I don't know. I think it's over. Wait, she likes him, but I don't know. I don't know if he's into her. Or if he's just playing hard to get. Let's do a yellow. Or no. Let's... I think she should break his heart into a million smithereens. Reject them if you know it just won't work. I think she deserves better. She deserves someone who will compliment her sweaty wife beater. And her weird fruit roll-up hair. <laughs> I think we should just be friends. Oh. That is disappointing. I'm going to send you death threats now. <laughs> Not really. Um, okay. Oh, another fussy customer. We'll find her someone way better. Oh no. Disappointment levels are approaching critical. Ronan was later found dead. Mysteriously, the crystals could not save him. Only the crystals could have healed his broken heart. Yeah, she's way too good for him. That's right. Her and her pixel art and uh, all the other things that she liked. Why did I pick this game? Why did I pick this game? I just went on the Steam new release page and just kept scrolling for like an hour. And I found this. It was definitely a game. I played it for way longer than I wanted to. I just couldn't stop. <laughs>